Hey guys, how's it going? So welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have a new boom arm to try out, and it is from the company called IX Tech. They were nice enough to send me one out to try, so thanks to them. So I'm gonna do the usual by unboxing it and then setting it up with my quadcast. So let's go. Okay, as you can tell, this box is pretty big, so I'll try to keep it in frame while I open it. So let's flip it over. Got a knife. Okay, so here is the dust mount, and from what I can tell, it looks like it's a mix between metal and ABS plastic. So it looks like it's pretty simple to set up. All you would do is to turn this little wing nut here to tighten it. And then your span right here is almost two and a half inches. And then to pretty much put the boom arm in, all you do is just slide it in there and it just freely sits there loosely. So there is another way you can use this, but you gotta kind of take this apart. Okay, so if you can see, there is actually a screw down there and it is a Phillips or a flathead. So let me get this loose. You can actually unscrew that part right there. Okay, so there's the nut. Let's try to get that bolt out. There's the bolt. So you can actually pull this part out like that. And you will actually need this little piece right here to do the next step. So. Okay, so set that there. So take this little, I'm gonna call this a washer for now, because I'm not even sure what it's called. It kind of looks like a cap. Okay, so you slide this little weighted tab into here, and you actually just drop this bolt down here, and then you just put this here, and then you have a wing nut as well. And then this is for like, if you're gonna actually drill a hole in your desk, like that and it will hold it still like that say if you do not like the clamp so this is what it would look like if you were going to mount it through your desk it's actually not that hard to do you just got to make sure you use the right size bit and then this is pretty much where you would tighten it like how i showed before with the uh, desk clamp how that all comes apart it's actually pretty simple i just don't want to drill a hole through my desk as you can see, it just goes all the way through there like that. So that is the alternative way if you want to not use the actual clamp on your desk. So let's go over the arm now. Okay, so here is the boom arm, and as you can tell, it is decently long. So let's start with the top right here, and this is the connection rod. And right now it's actually set up for 5 8 You can just unscrew this, and this rod underneath of it is actually 3 8 and then this is uh, I guess a little tightener to help adjust some of the tightness on your mic I guess if it doesn't go that deep so let me screw this back on and then right here is where you have a tensioner and you pretty much turn to the right to tighten it you turn to the left to loosen it and this is where you would pretty much adjust that. And then you have one of these pretty much at each joint on this boom arm. You got one here, and you got one down at the bottom as well. And then on the top right here, there's actually this channel for to pretty much run your cable management. And they have these little clips that pop up. And then you can actually slide them and adjust them where you would want them to be to help pretty much hold your cables down. Well, cable. And then here is the bottom. And pretty much to set it up, all you gotta do is just slide it into the base like that. And it just freely stays in there. Okay, as you can see, there is a screw right next to this post. And this is pretty much for the tension. I don't know if that just controls this right here or it actually controls all of them. I kinda have a feeling it's just this one. So, 
that's pretty much that. So it also comes with the instructions and this will pretty much show you how to set everything up step by step in case my directions are bad I guess you would say. So that is everything that came within this box so now I'm actually going to show you how to set this up with my quadcast so I'll pretty much go step by step and hopefully I don't mess it up too much. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is set up the dust clamp. So first thing I'm going to do is actually turn this to about almost the thickness of my desk. So give me a second. Okay, so that's about how thick my desk is. So all I'm going to do is just slide this in here. And then I'm going to turn this until it's tight. I don't want to do it too tight because I don't want to damage my desk. So there, that's pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the boom arm and then I'm going to take the post right here and insert it into the top of the desk clamp right here. So hopefully this isn't too loud. Just like that. Okay, so the way I'm going to set up this boom arm is I'm going to have it where the mic is actually hanging. So what I want to do is I want to turn these little adjusters right here to pretty much set them up right where I want them. So I'm just going to turn this one straight. And then I'm going to adjust this one. There is a lot of spring in here. Just like that. And then I can turn it around. And that pretty much is going to give me the effect I want. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is pretty much screw on the quadcast adapter. Just like that. So now I'm going to unhook the quadcast from its stock base. So I know my quadcast is going to be facing the wrong way, so I got to actually undo the shock mount and pretty much turn it to where it's going to be facing the right way. Okay, that should be good there. So now I'm going to hook up the quadcast to the boom arm, well, onto the quadcast adapter. I'm probably going to get a question about it. No, this boom arm does not come with the quadcast adapter. You pretty much have to buy the quadcast to get it. So there we go. So the last thing I need to do is run the cable management. Okay, so the first thing I did was I actually plugged in my quadcast because I like the mic quality better on there. So now I'm going to pop these little clips up. And I'm going to take my cable and slide it into this channel. Just going to make sure I give it enough slack. These little clamp clip things are actually really nice. You can actually adjust them where you need them to be. Okay, so now I'm just going to open up these back clips and then just run the cable down the back here. Just like that. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, so one thing for me is this is going to be an adjustment just trying to get used to it where the mic is actually hanging down in front of you. I'm used to it being down here and can kind of just freely move it around from there but this is actually not too bad I can if I wanted to I can easily just set it up like how a conventional boom arm is set up I just wanted to try something different where the mic's actually hanging down in front of you instead so I changed my mind and actually decided to put the boom arm behind my desk and that's what it would look like so as you can see it actually just goes up behind my monitor it doesn't look too bad the only thing is I had to redo the uh, shock mount again because the quadcast was facing the wrong way. So that's it. It actually does not look too bad at all. So this is what the boom arm looks like from my normal camera view. As you can see, it's a lot different than my normal view. This thing is actually very quiet to move it. It does not make any noises and it doesn't look like my quadcast is picking up any weird noises as well. So I guess that's a plus. Let me get that 
I don't even know where to put it. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm really not used to a mic being up there like that. So if you're actually interested in purchasing one of these, you can find these on Amazon. They usually run around $80. Right now it looks like they have a 17% discount. Who knows how long that will last. So if it changes, don't blame me. So that's going to be it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please drop a like. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. And if you're new to the channel and you like this kind of content, please consider in subscribing. And that's going to be it. So see you guys in the next one.